Yeah. So, yeah, not only do you get freedom, but you get more money. And that's the thing. I didn't want to be a, uh, I didn't want to just be a competitor to these other two because of politics or the culture war. I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to be that, right? But I, I wanted to be a viable uh, alternative for people in this space because the traffic on the other two sites, the green site and the pink site, about 5 to 10% of their traffic is there for comics and games. That's it. A hundred percent of our traffic is for comics and games. So the organic growth that you're that you could potentially get from using Fun My Comic is much greater than the organic growth that you could get from the green site or the pink site. Because those two places, they have a lot of people going to the site, but most of them aren't there for comics and games. Now the green site has a little more traffic for that than the pink site. But to be honest, when someone shows up at Fun My Comic, they're looking for something with a good story. They're looking for something that's fun. They're looking for something that's fairly affordable. And they're looking for something in this sphere. Right? That's what they're there for. So you know that the demographic that I'm trying to sell to is typing in funmycomic.com and going to the website. You know that. It's already built into that. And so that's... I will recommend this. Uh, I don't talk much about this stuff, but uh, you'll probably guess what appreciate it. I'm not sure if, you're, if you've ever heard of Donor C, uh, D O N O R S E E. It is, but it's a platform um, created by this guy, Gret Geyer. Gret's sadly no longer with us. He died way too young. But he thought that the way charity was done was terrible. And so he went and put together an app, which is basically a crowdfunding app. The difference being like you get the video feedback of what your money actually goes to. And so you're getting people over in Africa and they're saying, I need 1500 bucks to build a house for this family. And they send you the videos of like what that money actually goes to at the end of it. And it's this idea of you've got a particular niche and then you've got the idea of incentivizing people, game, gamifying it. To want to invest it, you know, God, man, keep throwing that money at something when you get to see like the direct impact you're having on people across the world. And this, to me, I mean, I'm not going to give you Gret Glyer's status right now as far as humanitarian awards go, but what you're doing is is very important to a lot of people, and I'm I'm excited to watch it grow. I'm excited to be a part of it. It's one of those things, you know. I you know coming back from the near death experience. You, you treat every day like it's brand new and, and like it's a gift. I mean, just waking up today and having air in my lungs, it was a gift. And um, it's not really about what I can take. Which I feel terrible about because <laughs> my fat ass didn't get nothing over the past two, two years. So I feel bad that you did, man. It sucks. Yeah, my lungs are still at just 33% capacity. So it's a little tough. You'll notice in my voices, I have this really calm, soothing voice now. It's because of the uh, scarring on my vocal cords. And, uh, but yeah, it's just, it's, you know, it's all good. But every day is a gift. And it's not about what I can get or gain before I leave. For me now, it's about what can I leave behind when I'm gone? You know, what can I, and I, I'm hoping that fund my comic and the things that result from it, not just the businesses that result from it, but the, I have ministry plans that involve the influence that I could possibly gain from this. You know, um, like I said, I'm a strong man of faith. You know, I believe God loves everybody. And I believe that, that there is a, uh, that there's peace in relationship with him. And there's a lot of people in our space that don't know that, but I see a lot of people in our space that are hurting. And what gave me the inspiration to really try to be, have help for our kind of, community was because every time I would go to a convention, <laughs> I, my wife would have to watch the table while I'm inevitably doing some kind of what we would call quote unquote pastoral care. You know, I'm talking to someone about their problems and helping them. I'm, I'm praying for them, giving them some advice or something. And I realized that people want to be listened to. Um, they, they, they want to be seen beyond the cosplay, you know? And if there's someone there that can do that, then 
they'll take advantage of it. <laughs> and so I, I, I want to, I want to develop a ministry that does that. And the only way to do that is number one, to have a steady income to where I don't have to worry about, you know, the time or the money it costs to travel and set up a ministry at conventions and influence. It really is all about influence, Nick. It is. Well, I think it's more about influence, more than influence. It's about relationships. Like that's the thing that really settled here. Cause when you have relationships, you're going to have influence on people. Exactly. So go build the relationships and the influence will come. Yeah. I think, I think that's the core marketing influence really. I think if everyone cared and felt the way about like their books that you do, I mean, the marketing part sh should just fall into place. I can help teach you skills. And as long as you approach it with that, that desire, we'll get there.